Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so today I'm going to give you a tour of the Imagine 22 MLE from Grand Design. So let's go. So I'm kind of hoping the volume on this is going to be okay. Um, so before I get started with the RV, let me just show you the, the truck. Man, this thing is a beauty. It is a 2023 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Let me take you around the front here. You can see where it says Super Duty. It's a beautiful truck. It's got a great profile. Really have loved this thing. It's a little bit um, harder to ride in than um, you know, the F-150, but it's a working truck, so. All right, here we go. This is the Imagine Grand Design XLS. 22 MLE. Let me give you a side profile here. We'll start with the outside because it's uh, really quite a beautiful RV. Um, its total presence on the road is about 25 feet. It's got one slide, as you can see here. It's a little dirty right now, but that's okay. It's going to get cleaned. This is the back profile. You got the ladder that goes upstairs to the roof um, you get the hot water heater here and this is a domatic hot water heater as you can see here uh, it is both electric and propane so it's very nice and works great gets that water nice and hot and then we have a suburban furnace and uh, that works really good I worked that out last year and um, uh, actually, this is last winter. As you can see, I did get this from Cookville RV and Marine here in Cookville. And you've got one rear window in the back, and that's the kitchen window. And you're also pre-wired for a backup camera, which I have not gotten yet. Uh, but I'll be getting that hopefully soon. And then around this side is the front. Or I should say, yeah, the front where the door is. You got a beautiful canopy that goes all the way over the door, which is really nice. And in addition to that, you've got here uh, an extra water um, connector. So you can connect it with a hose, which comes with the RV. And then you got a, a, a black water flush here. Um, and that uh, black tank flush here, which help, is very helpful. And cable hookup electric hookup and you got your fresh water intake right here underneath the RV we've got the connections here where you can go ahead and uh, open the tanks uh, open the fresh water tank anyway and uh, flush it out as I said it's a 22 MLE it is Arctic insulated so it's good for all four seasons and um, really just a sweet sweet rv in the front you also have a full pass-through storage i don't know if you can see that let me turn the light on but you got a full pass-through storage here uh, which actually holds quite a bit of of um of um uh, supplies but let me take you around the side here so you can see the uh Okay, let's see here. Move some of my stuff out of the way and turn on some lights. Oh, there we go. Oops. There we go. So, you've got all your hookups right here. Um, we've got the electrical, you've got cable, you have, um, you can see how much solar's coming in. Um, the, uh, um, RV is pre-wired for solar. You have your battery disconnects, uh, fresh water connections, and you can turn the, the pump on from right here. And you also have uh, outdoor shower connections. So it's pretty convenient. Then you get a little pass through here for all of your um, hoses and things. Let's see, over here we've got 
I guess that's one of the controllers for the solar. So, not too bad. In the front of the RV, you have your uh, electric um, hitch control and you've got two propane tanks. And right now I just have one battery in here and it's not a lithium battery. Um, All right, let's take a walk inside and see what the inside looks like. Let's unlock it. Now, I haven't cleaned this up, so um, you'll have to forgive me. Let me turn some lights on in here. Okay, so as we come into the RV, the first thing you're gonna see over here to the side is the bed, and this is a full queen size bed. Now you've got two wardrobes, which you know are pretty good. You got two drawers, not too bad. And then you've got the over the bed container here, or storage, which is actually very big. Uh, the lounge area, the recliner, which is in the slide. And this is a Thomas Paine um, uh, reclining chairs. I like them, they're very comfortable. The only problem is, is that you've got this cup holder here, which has, um, let's see, has a light, which you can turn on, as you can see. And it also has heat and vibration and massage, I guess. But those are so sensitive that the minute you turn it on, it's hard to get them off. Or hard to remember not to to make sure they turn off. Also, too, you can see there's under the seat lighting. If we turn both of them on, now you've got pretty blue light underneath the recliner. All right, so we also have a Furian um, 12 volt refrigerator, and actually this is a pretty nice refrigerator. It's working out pretty well. Um, needs to get defrosted from my last trip, but it maintains temperatures very well So that's nice and then we have The stove which when you switch the switch on you get a nice light and it's a Whoops It is a three burner stove as you can see here Covered You got your vent or exhaust microwave and there's also nice storage right in here coming over to the kitchen you've got a nice place for spices and whatnots here nice big farm sink which has been really nice to have and then you've got these blackout shades which i really love and but it's got some good counter space, which has been very helpful. So uh, then you've got more drawers here and here for storage. And then you've got an under the sink storage, but it's only a small space under here. I don't know if you can see that too well. And then additional cabinetry up here in the kitchen which is actually very nice. Lots of storage there. Got a nice storage space right here for dishes and whatnots. And then additional, I use this as the pantry area here. So that's nice. And you also have a uh, vent fan in the kitchen. And uh, eventually that'll get turned out to a, um, probably a smart fan. And then we have a sliding door for the bathroom. And I like this because it's really room saving. We just close the, the door here. All right, we can open that back up. And it just tucks away here. And for traveling, all you gotta do is just latch it. It's all nice and latched. It's got a really nice size shower. And you know me, I'm a big guy, so having a nice shower is really important to me. And then we've got your sink. You've got storage under here. You've got storage under here. More storage for towels. Got storage in here. More storage over here. Towel rack. 
and a porcelain toilet. Coming out over here, we've got the Dometic um, HVAC system, and this works really well. I had no problem with it. It turned on the heat, it's, and it does the air well, so very nice. Then moving over this way, you've got additional big storage here, um, which is really very nice for when you're traveling. More drawers. As you can see, I don't have a lot of the stuff in here um, because I really downsize a great deal. Even moving into the house, I got rid of a lot of the junk. So, and then you've got the dinette. And for those of you who know me, I normally pull the dinette out, but uh, I really like this dinette and uh, it serves me well for when I am traveling and I'm working from the road. And up here, you've got the TCL TV, which is a smart TV, it's a Roku TV. And behind this, and behind this, you've got your connections up there for uh, cable and uh, electric. And when I was traveling, I put my um, my hotspots in there, so that was really nice. You also have another cabinet over here for additional storage. And then coming over here, we've got the hub uh, for the RV. Um, and you can see here, this is where you get your ceiling, your water pump, your slide out, your awning out. Very nice. Now there is no storage under the, uh, the seats because each of the seats has components. Like for example, under this seat is the um, water pump and over here is the fresh water intake valve. But, so, but there is additional storage under the bed. Let me show you that real quick. And it's real easy because it's on hydraulics. So you lift it up and voila. That's a nice storage with nice little um, storage area there you can move. But this is a good amount of storage if you need to store things in the house. Overall, it's a very attractive, very functional uh, RV that works extremely well for being on the road. It tows beautiful, it's got some nice um, balance to it. And as you can see, it's a, it's a real pretty RV. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video um, of a tour of my Imagine 22 MLE by Grand Design. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, um, share, and definitely subscribe. All right, I'll see you in the next video.